Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and in today's video, we are looking at this Cadence Starter Template. This is a Learn Dash Cadence Starter Template. So we're going to talk about customizing this Learn Dash Cadence Starter Template in the Theme Customizer. All of Learn Dash's pages are now customizable using the Cadence Theme Customizer, which is really cool. But most importantly, we are going to show how to set this page up to sell it using WooCommerce. So you can sell your courses using a standard WooCommerce cart and checkout flow. So if that sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, we're obviously going to need the Cadence theme to do this tutorial. So let's head over to cadencetheme.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can download it for free. Just click the free download there. It'll download into your downloads folder. Then you head over to your themes in WordPress dashboard. Under appearance themes, we're going to add a new theme. Upload your theme and just upload that zip file that you just downloaded from Cadence. I've already gone ahead and done that, so I can go ahead and activate the Cadence theme, but just install and activate Cadence and we'll be here. All right, now before we install our starter template, just make sure your permalinks are set up properly. You can get to permalinks under settings and permalinks. I like to set mine to post name. Any of these will work, but post name looks a lot better and it's better for your search engine optimization. So just set it to post name, scroll down and hit save if it's not already like that. The other thing you'll want to do under settings and general is just make sure membership anyone can register because this is going to be a course website. We want people to be able to register for our course. So just tick that one. If it's not already, go ahead and click save down there. We're obviously going to need LearnDash to complete this tutorial. If you don't have LearnDash already, that's fine. Check the link in the description. I have organized a pretty good discount with LearnDash. So if you haven't got it already, now's a good chance to pick it up at a discount. But once you've done that, go ahead and download your LearnDash plugin. And we go to add plugins and we can just add that plugin through there. Upload the plugin, uh, choose the file and install and activate that one. Once LearnDash is activated, you'll get the LearnDash LMS option in your dashboard menu there. So let's go ahead and go over to settings. And in our settings, we wanna to go to the LMS license tab and put in your email and license key that you got when you purchased LearnDash. Go ahead and click update license. Okay, now we are ready to activate our Cadence starter template. So we had to plugins and installed plugins. Cadence starter templates should have automatically installed when you installed Cadence theme. So we can go ahead and click activate. If you don't have Cadence starter templates for some reason, you can always go to plugins, add new, and you can search for Cadence starter templates. You can find that for free in the WordPress repository. But after that, we're going to go to appearance and starter templates. And at the moment, there are six starter templates and the latest one is this Learn Dash course. So let's select that Learn Dash course. You can choose a color scheme here. You can also customize this after you've imported it, but I'm going to go with this nice blue one here. Go ahead and go down here and click import and start importing. All right, that'll take a second, but when that's ready, you can click finish view your site. And this is what the template looks like for the LearnDash Cadence Starter Template. Very nice, clean, professional looking course website. So they have actually given us a course pre-installed with some dummy content on there where we can go ahead and look at how a course is put together. So this is very helpful if you're just starting out. You will notice after installing the starter template under Learn Dash Courses, you'll get this demo course called Web Design Course, the complete package that is already set up for us to look at and see how everything works. So let's go back to our course and let's go to our theme customizer. Okay, now LearnDash works well with any theme, but the big advantage of using Cadence and LearnDash together is that Cadence have integrated some LearnDash customizations into their theme customizer. So this is really nice, gives you some extra customizability over your course page. So let's click that one. And you can actually customize courses, essays, groups, topics, and lessons. So let's have a look at a few of these and see how these work. Now, since we're already on our course page, let's start with our course layout. So from here, we can actually customize all these things through the customizer. So you can do the general layout by clicking this one or that one, they have two. So let's start with the default one. We can go to design. You can see they have a background image that we can customize there. So if we go ahead and click that one, we can easily change the image to something else. We can also change it to a color from our color palette or anything we like really, or we can change it to even a gradient by choosing a couple of colors here. We can choose colors from our palette. Let's choose a nice dark one and the light blue accent. That looks pretty good. Let's close out of here and let's see what else we can do. So we can add borders. We can change the background color, for example, 
there's lots of things we can do to really get it to match with the brand of our website, which is something that other themes don't really give you the ability to do. But Cadence has a lot of customizability for your Learn Dash page. So the next thing we can do is head to our first lesson. So let's go to the intro. That is the first lesson on this demo course. We can go ahead and go back here and we can actually look at the lesson layout. Again, we can follow exactly the same process and customize these pages to fit with our branding. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All I wanted here was to go to design and just change that area, make that the gradient and choose our same gradient that we used on the previous page. And the title font there needed to be white and there we go. So let's publish that one. It is worth noting that a few of these Learn Dash colors are not controlled by the theme customizer. They're controlled by the Learn Dash plugin. So I'm going to show you how to customize some of these colors just right now. We'll want to go to our general and colors in Cadence just to make sure we've got access to our palette. So I'm going to use this blue color, copy that blue color code. And then we go back to our dashboard under learn dash LMS and we're going to go to general and here we can change our accent color progress color notifications so let's go ahead and change that to match our cadence colors so let's just paste that color in there for the progress what else did I want to use I wanted to use the uh, light color there that would be a nice accent color there we go and I think I'm going to use this color again for our notifications so that looks pretty cool. We can actually put a logo in here as well. I might just do that and get the logo that they provided with the demo, but you can use your own logo there, obviously, and click save. And now back on our customizer, if we actually reload this, we should see that we've got the Learn Dash colors implemented on our course. So scrolling down here, yes, we've got the nice theme colors uh, are all consistent. So in terms of customization, it does look pretty good out of the box. And like we saw before, we can customize all these aspects of the course. One thing I might do is reduce the amount of blank space in this title before we go too far. So let's go to course layout and we can change the title height there. I might make that uh, 220, like, looks about right. And then go ahead and click publish. All right, so let's look at this. So if a user comes to the main page, they can go to the course and they can view the course. But what they haven't done is given us a way to do sales and purchases yet. So I'll show you how to set that up with WooCommerce. Let's get started on that. Okay, let's just check that we've got all the right plugins before we start doing this. So under plugins, install plugins, make sure you've got LearnDash obviously, and you'll need LearnDash WooCommerce integration. You can get that through the LearnDash menu there. It's a free add-on. We are also gonna need WooCommerce and WooCommerce Stripe Gateway. You can get those for free simply through the add new feature and searching for those two. Now, if you've never set those two up, I do have a previous video, about 15 minutes to set both of these up. You can also set up PayPal using the same method all in the same video. I'll link that in the description. But from here, let's go to WooCommerce settings and let's just do the things that we need to do to get LearnDash working properly here. So we wanna to go to accounts and privacy. And the things we wanna change here are we wanna untick that one and we want to tick this one to allow customers to log in during checkout. And they want to be able to create an account during checkout as well. And so when they create an account, it generates an automatic username based on the name and email and it automatically generates a password. So it will email them the username and password details so they can log into their course. Once that's all done, let's scroll down and hit save. And the other thing I like to do is under products, I like to redirect to the cart page after successful addition. This one's unticked by default usually. So just, I like to tick that one and I have unticked reviews for this demo, but you can leave them on or off. That doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and save changes. The other thing we'll do under Learn Dash, under settings in Learn Dash and general, we want to turn on login and registration. Go ahead and click save there. And also just double check under your settings uh, that you do have membership anyone can register. I know I mentioned that before, I'll just mention that again here. All right, now to sell a course with WooCommerce, all we have to do is associate a product with the course. So let's add a new product. Okay, now we're gonna set up a product just for the demo course that came with the starter template. So let's call it web design course and put a quick description in here and we'll set our price. I think the price there was 99 and we are gonna click virtual there for the product and we also need to set this to course. Now, installing the WooCommerce uh, Learn Dash integration will give you this course option in the product. And the most important part here is under Learn Dash courses, we want to associate it with Web Design Course. 
that is the demo course that came with the starter template and we click update. Okay, so now when we go to products, we can look at all our products and we should have a product set up called web design course. And we can see that the ID number there is 464. Okay, so just remember that ID number 464. We are gonna use that in a minute when we set up an add to cart link for our learn dash course. So let's go to learn dash courses and go to courses. And we've got our course there. Let's go to edit and we go to the settings here and we want to change the access mode. So if we set it to closed, then it can be integrated with a shopping cart. So we set up a button URL and this is a button that sends us to the WooCommerce product and it sends it to the cart. All right, now our cart URL is gonna look like this. It's got your domain slash cart question mark add to cart equals 464. That was our product ID number. Now don't worry, I'll put that in the description as well so you can set that up for your domain. It's fairly easy and we go ahead and click update. Okay, so now when a user comes to the course page, they can go ahead, check out the course, and there is now a take this course button, which is an add to cart button. So when they click that, it'll take them straight to the cart. They can go to the checkout and purchase the course. The next thing I like to add is a customized account page. So it does have the default WooCommerce account page. I like to customize this to make it a little bit more suitable for a online course. So by default, you've got your WooCommerce standard account page. I like to remove that. And LearnDash actually gives us some nice blocks that we can use to build a nice looking account page. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I am just gonna build a normal cadence row. Let's actually open all our blocks here. So we've got cadence, so I'm gonna use a row layout to do this. I'm gonna use a pre-built library one. And I like some of these blocks under call to action. This one looks pretty cool. And we can go ahead and customize this a bit. And I might just call this student account here. I'll just replace this bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna say uh, log in and log out of your account. So I'll just change this text. There we go. And rather than this button, I'm gonna have a learn dash button here. So let's go ahead and add one of those in. So there are some learn dash blocks in here as well. We have to scroll down to find those. Learn dash login is the one we want. Pop that there, looks pretty good. We can remove that button that came with the block. There we go. Let's hit update. And the other thing I'll do here is just change this image of this girl to something more suitable for our course. You can get anything out of our media library. I'll just use the logo for this example, but that's totally up to you. There we go, let's hit update. And the next thing I'll do is just put the user profile below this block. So the user has their profile with their courses. It's all easy to find on one page. So let's go with uh, learn and we're gonna add the learn dash profile there. So that'll put their profile. You can actually customize this a little bit if you like. For example, you can turn the header on or off and just have the list of their courses. If you wanted to do that, that might be good. Let's go ahead and click update. And then I could just say something to make it really clear, just say your courses are displayed down below. So I'll just pop a bit of text in there. After logging in, your courses will be displayed here below. It looks pretty good. And the other thing I might do here is under the page settings, we can actually turn the title off so it doesn't display that my account there. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's click update. And let's go ahead and view this, see how that's looking. So it has a little bit too much vertical padding there. We can remove that. And I might actually remove the footer as well. I don't think it needs to be on the account page. So let's go ahead and do that there. We can change the vertical padding. Let's set that to disable. It was on default, let's just set it to disable. And I might disable the footer as well there. Go ahead and click update. Now we can reload this and see what that looks like. So that's definitely a bit cleaner. I'm pretty happy with that. And the other thing we'll do here is add this account page to the main menu so it's really easy to find at any point. So I go to customize and we are gonna go to our menus and the primary menu and we're just gonna add the item there. Let's add my account to that menu. I might pop that at the end of the menu. That looks fine. Let's hit publish. Awesome. So now on our page, we have my account. Students can go to their account anytime, log in, log out and see their courses. One other little tweak I like to add, now this is optional, is after the user purchases the course in WooCommerce, they go to the default WooCommerce thank you page. I like to replace that and just redirect them back to their account. So if you go to plugins and add new, search for WC thanks and you'll get this WC thanks redirect plugin. I'm gonna install that and just set that up. So I'll just install and activate that one. And we can skip this thing here. And then on our products, let's look at all of our products again. And the course we were working on, let's go ahead and click edit that product. And now when we scroll down, we actually have a thank you URL. So when we 
plug a URL in there. I'm going to put the my account link into that URL and click update. And so then when someone purchases the course, they'll get sent straight to their account page. So let's see how this all works. All right, so let's check the user experience now. If they would come to your page, they can check out your course, they can take the course and then proceed to the checkout. Then we just fill in the checkout details. Now I'm just using test mode to do this so we can plug in a test credit card here. Again, check out my previous WooCommerce tutorial where I show you how to set up Stripe and PayPal in test mode. I've done that for this tutorial here. Go ahead and place the order. And there we go. After purchasing the course, we'll get forwarded over to the student account. They've got their courses here. They can go ahead and start work on their course. Now, if you're only selling one course rather than forwarding to my account, you could forward them straight to the course alternatively, totally up to you. And at that point, the student will also automatically get an email from WordPress that has their user login and password details there as well. So all completely automated. Now, I think that pretty much covers it. Editing this page is the same as editing any other WordPress page using the standard WordPress editor. If you want a tutorial on the actual cadence theme, I've done that previously. I'll link to that. But using this cadence theme is quite friendly to edit the page. We can go ahead and go back to our dashboard. There is one thing that is worth mentioning is that the Learn Dash courses can also be edited using Gutenberg blocks. So if we go to our course, let's go to edit and let's go to one of our topics or lessons or even the course itself. So we can go ahead, go to our course builder there and let's have a look at the intro. We can go ahead and edit the intro and all of our Learn Dash lessons and topics can be edited the same as any other WordPress page. So we can actually use the cadence blocks here. So if we want to add a cadence row in there, we can actually add the pre-built library things into our course so you can get this really nice pre-designed content into your course just like that so that is really quite cool as well so that pretty much wraps it up this is a really cool uh, easy to use and nice clean looking course design site i think it's quite a good option if you're looking at building a online course with wordpress the only thing that wasn't completely user friendly was setting up woocommerce but that didn't take too long as we saw earlier so now the other alternative is using the astra theme obviously i covered this in a previous tutorial i really like this method too i actually think the WooCommerce integration on this method is slightly more friendly. So this is worth checking out as well. I'll put a link to the video right here so you can check that one out. Definitely check this one out too and decide for yourself which one you prefer. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.